so in this video we're going to start um, creating our Excel client okay so I've got this spreadsheet I've called it Google services I'm gonna name this sheet maps um, so the idea is that we will have a start um, location we will have a destination and then the service will give us back the miles and it will give us back the minutes okay let's make these two a little bit bigger right so let's save that and let's jump right into the VBA side okay so I'm going to start by giving the sheet a code name and I'm gonna call it maps I'm going to insert a module and I'm gonna start um, defining a sub um, call maps service right so the first thing I need is an object that will um, call our service okay so it's a uh, HTTP object um, so let's define that object let's say dim o HTTP as object and we set it as um, create object and it is Microsoft XML MS XML 2.xml HTTP okay and let's before we forget right at the end we set it to nothing okay so what do we need um, to send a request what we need is a so, so let's say OHTTP and then end with we need to open it so we say open and for that we need a method to execute and because on the server side we wrote a do get method we say that we want the get method on the side okay we need a URL so S URL we're going to define that string in a minute and lastly we pass false okay so here we let's declare a base URL string and let's de declare a URL okay so the base URL is going to be the URL that we have when we deployed our app okay so we just copy that that will be our base URL okay and then let's say the URL let's just hard code it for now let's say it's equal to the base URL and question mark and we have start equals let's say um, yeah let's just put the same thing we had before let's say it's uh, what was it um, let's do it from the other um, the other way around so let's put Buckingham 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 Palace and the destination equals um, let's say Trafalgar Square I keep adding these quotes but we don't need these quotes okay 
and instead of these spaces obviously we have to pass zero, uh, these codes plus and let's copy that and replace that right so as soon as we opened it we need to send it okay then once we've done that we will um, we will need to get the response and to get the response um, let's declare a string response String to get the response, we get s response equals the object and then response string. Oh no, so response text, I think. Okay, let us debug print that. right so i think that looks okay let's run this and see what happens before that let's uh i think we need the immediate is it the immediate window yeah so it's the immediate window um and this string will be displayed here okay let's run let's let's run this and see what happens um okay perfect so yeah we got this string back which is obviously a html um, string okay and somewhere in there i'm not even going to look for it somewhere in there we will have our string that has been returned by the service okay so in the next video um, we're going to see how we can extract the um, the string that we want from this long long response text okay if you found this video useful please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video thank you